center. Jimmy Bell Jr. will jump against K.J. Adams. Kansas in the white. West Virginia in the gray. And here we go. And Jalen Wilson collects. Kansas has the basketball to begin play. Obviously, this offense goes through Jalen Wilson, an All-American season, player of the year in the league. Adams gives off. This is Yesifu making his mistake. That one erased by Stevenson. He is an athlete, man. He, he can really play. The way he's played at the end of the year, he's going to make some money somewhere. He's down low. They get a travel, looks a turnover. Katie Johnson. As we take a peek at the starting lineups, Harris, Dick, Yesifu, Wilson, and Adams out there. It's a very interesting team, John, because when Jalen Wilson is scoring the ball at a high level, they don't play well. In five losses, he's averaged 28 a game. Balance is the key. The glass with the ball and Texas transfer Trey Mitchell rebounds it. Feed inside. Bell. That's off the mark. And now Wilson, full head of steam. Off the glass, wouldn't fall out to Yesiku. He'll try. And that three is good. Credit AJ, excuse me, KJ Adams for that tip out. We saw it in the first game. Important for Yesifu to make shots. He's only shooting 28% in his career at Kansas from behind the arc. Stevenson. Brady Dick the rebound. He's a good rebounder, friend. Yes, he is. And, and they bring everybody who re rebounds the ball is allowed to bring it in transition. Wilson will do it. Dick will do it. Usually McCullough as well. There's Harris now. Juan Harris, the guy that gets their offense going as a distributor. Adams was contested. He wanted a foul called as he put it home. And Kansas with the early lead, 5 nothing. West Virginia played a two-point game at Allen Fieldhouse a couple weeks ago. They put four in double figures, so they're going to have to spread the offense around. Mitchell inside, left hand, rolls it home. And he just told Eric Stevenson, keep feeding me, keep feeding me. But it's Johnson, it's Mitchell, it's Stevenson particularly. Emmett Matthews, all can score. Trey Mitchell going one blue shoe, one yellow shoe. I'm here for that. Mm -hmm. You're a shoe sneakerhead yourself. Mm -hmm. Turn over there on the travel. And it will go the other way. Just getting started, John Shelby, Fran Fraschilla, and Chris Budden. Norm Roberts acting as the head coach today. Bill Self. Not feeling well, but reports are positive in terms of how he's doing. Stevenson looks opposite. And now Johnson catch and shoot. And Wilson tracks down the rebound. You don't see on oh, a good look ahead. Really nice ball movement. And there's Wilson flying. And tips it home. Good teamwork. Started with a great outlet pass. Adams with the block. Pumps his fist. And then Mitchell takes it away. And then back at the other end. And Keedy Johnson puts it in. Now we talked about Keedy last night. Third year. He's using his COVID year as a fifth year here. Much the way. Tash Sherman did, and he's gotten better each year, especially offensively. 7-4, the early going. Adams. Yesifu hesitated, then went left hand, couldn't finish as he went down. Good hands, that long wingspan as Harris was able to collect it. Now Yesifu tries to feed Grady Dick, can't do it, and they turn it back over. It's been sloppy right now, kick up ahead. Harris scoops it up and in. Juan Harris is 6'1", what they list him at. The wingspan is 6'6".
Looked like a wide receiver right there. That was a great catch. Not an easy play. Matthews beating Mitchell. Mitchell going to work on the other side is Brady Dick. Overpowered him but was short on the shot. Mitchell again. Matthews trying to save. Can't. And it'll be Kansas basketball when we return. Just get it going, quarterfinal number two. Jayhawks by five. Yes. Beating against West Virginia, well, my second, the second one last week, 17.6 assists, a career high six steals. He is the catalyst to this offense and defense. Kevin McCuller checking into the game. Chris Button mentioned dealing with back spasms, so he did not start. That's nice. Wilson at the basket on the glass. And West Virginia the other way. Stevenson at the basket and spins it home. Boy, I've been really impressed with Eric Stevenson. This is his first and only year in Morgantown, and he's fit right in. Fourth school in four years for Stevenson. Shot off the mark. West Virginia can tie things up with a three. We're going to come back in a couple of years and be raving about James O'Connor, won't we? The man from England who's showing his work on the glass. Juanco is a guy that they like. Certainly talented. He's from England. That one off the glass. And look at the creativity there. Yep. Brady Dick had a very big game against this Mountaineer team a couple weeks ago. 24 now in Fieldhouse. Dick goes baseline, lost the handle, out of bounds. And it's Kansas basketball. Chris Button. Guys, we saw that sign of the young kid who skipped school to come out here. Maybe that's a young Grady Dick because that is one of Grady's first memories watching the Jayhawks in this building. His sister took him out of school. The two of them came to Kansas City, uh, watched the Jayhawks, grew up a lifelong fan. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to be able to support your team. That's right. Adams from the elbow. In my family, we call that a field trip. Yeah, right. Still a field trip, that's all. Try to skip school to go watch the Biggies tournament a time or two. <laughs> yeah, you were in college. Well, don't get all judgy. <laughs> Stevenson knocked out of bounds. Whoa! Oh, not out of bounds. Oh, oh, my goodness. Look out, Emmett Matthews <laughs> Jr. Did Akaku do that on purpose? I mean, he's a former tennis player. Grew up in England. Family of tennis players. And that's pretty good agility right there for... A young big guy just learning how to play basketball. Adams inside, rejected there. Mitchell, a little Euro step. Well, Emmett Matthews is the recipient of great hustle. Watch this ball going out of bounds and a combo saving it. And Emmett Matthews in the right place at the right time. And Emmett Matthews, a young man who started his career at West Virginia three years, went to Washington last year where he played for Mike Hopkins, and he said, I wanted to do, I wanted my senior today to be in Morgantown, although he had two senior days, because he had one last year. That one knocked away, Stevenson hits the floor, West Virginia leading by a point, Wilson eyes it up, Very short there, Matthews the rebound. Virginia on the move. Really impressed last night with West Virginia's ball movement. Loose ball. Wilson eventually rolls it over to Harris. Looking for some space. Harris kick out Yesifu. Feed inside. In and out, but Ernest Duday Jr. will go to the line and shoot two. Okonkwo is charged with the foul. Ernest has had some moments this year. Former McDonald's All-American at, at the Orlando area. 
Not everybody percolates at the same rate at Kansas. It takes some time for especially these young big guys, but the development program that Jayhawks have in place is nearly through. I think that's a good way to put it, that not everybody percolates yeah. at the same time or the same way. I mean, you've seen, I mean, heck, K.J. Adams deservedly the most improved player in the conference, but last year, I mean, he was a top 50 recruit in the country. And that was one point a game. There you go. Yeah. And you just have to be patient. If you come here, you're going to be you're playing in every day with good players. Yep. That's a foul on Ernest for holding a Kongwu. Twelve oh five to go here in our first half. It's quarterfinal number two. Adrian Johnson trying to beat Stevenson, and now Harris the other way. Harris always has his head up. Stevenson takes it away. He'll try a three. And Yesifu able to track it down. Wilson. Wilson got the step and it rolls off, but he'll go to the line. Jalen Wilson will shoot two when we return. West Virginia leading by a point. And talked about going to the NBA for the last two years, and he sat, sat and watched. Thought, what can I do if this is my team and I take that spot that Ochai Abaji had a year ago, and I replace that production, and here he is as the player of the year in the conference. And you got to give Bill Self credit because Jalen Wilson, Chris, has taken the most shots in Bill Self's era. He averages 16 shots a game. And not everybody wants to be the star. He's made so many big shots for Bill Self this year. It's uh, really impressive. Toussaint step back from the elbow. Out of bounds, and it was off Yesifu. Yeah, we're with that right there. Get well soon, coach. I'm not sure this is good for his health watching his team out here, you know. Kansas by a point. He, he's going to go down as one of the probably five greatest college basketball coaches in history. Yep. Uday pops out. Left side, Trey Mitchell steps back and puts it home. That's a nice move. Yeah, tough shot. This team is good when they get balanced scoring, and they have four out there that can do it. Really impressed last night, John, with the patience, poise, ball movement. Of course, they have Hugs' toughness. This is great basketball. I love when he drives to the basket. Out of bounds, and it will be West Virginia basketball. Back at the other end, Trey Mitchell. Yep, remember, young man, he's been much traveled. Oh, uh, UMass first and Texas last year, but he's back close to home, a Pittsburgh kid who has found his niche with Hugs probably 80 miles down uh, I-79. He said, if I knew how nice Morgantown was, I would have committed when I was a senior in high school. He didn't say, if I knew how nice Coach Huggins was, I would have committed. But I think he's fit right in. Stevenson, oh, got it. That's not an admiration, John. Not a lot of guys can make tough shots. He can make tough shots. He's got six. Third team, all Big 12 selection. I mentioned fourth school in four years, Wichita State, Washington, South Carolina. Ude rips down the rebound. Yesifu on the move. Rattles it home. Nice job. Joe Yesifu, the Chicago native. Get the feeling this is a feeling out first 10 minutes, right? Come on a little strong, high off the glass. Ude the rebound. And Grady Dick steps back, hoists it up. I want to tell you how that happened. Joe Yesifu is the fastest player on this team, 
And because of his speed, he created that shot for Grady Dick. He sucked two or three defenders in, and including Dick's man, which you're not supposed to do if you're guarding him. All Joe on that. Stevenson. An air ball, and it's out of bounds. Yep, watch Joe Yesifu now. This is why he plays in the lineup. He can just get to the basket, draw some help, and then a little shot fake, step to the side. Very nicely done by Grady Dick. You know what's great about Grady Dick? He didn't give up the three-point line. He was chased off of it, but he slid sideways. And if you're going to be a great three-point shooter, you have to have that footwork in your arsenal. Bob Cartman, an outstanding college basketball player at Iowa State. She was a post player. Bobby Pettiford in the game for Kansas. He handles here. Brady Dick on Matthews. Contested shot short. Yep. Good no call. Tried to bait Matthews. Matthews stayed vertical. Gives off. Adrian Johnson here. Shot clock's at nine. Johnson trying to get a step. Gets inside. All right, ACC tournament, Miami advancing as they eat down a win over Wake Forest. Duke up by 16 at the half, leading Pitt. And then still to come, Clemson, NC State, Virginia, and North Carolina. You think Miami's the best team in that league? I do. I do. Yep. I, I, they, they're connected. They've got a transfer, Nor, Norchad Omir, who is the only Nicaraguan Division I player transfer from Arkansas State, and he is a monster. And the guards are outstanding, especially Isaiah Wong and Nigel Pack. And of course, they got the professor, Jim Laranega, coaching that team. Who told us he watches no basketball except his team, a little bit of ACC, and then he watches Gunsmoke gun before he goes to bed. So he's not watching us right now. No, he's not. No way. KJ oh, Adams plus 10. Well, he's not watching us, but Jim Laranega just missed a great dunk. Watch the quick roll. So we literally just went back in time. I'll take every second I can get. <laughs> Bell being harassed by Adams. Johnson. Shot clock under 10. Stevenson gets some space. And McCuller swoops in for the rebound. Kevin McCuller, outstanding rebounding guard. He averages a little over seven rebounds a game. Tries to jump. And Matthews the rebound. He'll lead the charge. Up ahead, Stevenson. Mitchell, that's a three. Good work. And now Harris. Scored the basket and one. Always under control, Dewan Harris. Point guard leading the break. Kansas by a half dozen. Uh, Humphrey the shooter. Green, the point guard, they were together two years. The interesting thing about this Kansas team, as we said earlier, they lost 75% of their scoring, so they're going into the NCAA tournament as a number one seed with a little bit different type of personnel, needless to say. No Christian Brown, and obviously no Ochai Abaji. Fran, I posed this to Bill Self yesterday. He said, but there are some similarities in terms of the character of this team, a resiliency, be able to come back from half. They saw that in the national championship game last year. We've seen it multiple times with this year. There's a grittiness. There's a constantly getting better week by week that last year's team had. He said, I don't want us to get used to having to come from behind, but this team has that ability to do it. 
Johnson with the miss and McCuller grabs it now Harris into the front court It's a 10-0 Kansas run what, the, what every Kansas team has on the bill self is they expect to win every game And they have a coach who prepares them to do that Doesn't always work, but you come to Kansas knowing you're playing in huge games Adams Got it knocked away. Shot clock is at four. He knows. Harris hangs. Yep. And it rolls off. That was halfway down. Stevens to the rebound. But you didn't have to worry about Dwan Harris looking up at the clock because he knew. Oh, he's got position, Jimmy Bell. Then they turn it over. Bob Huggins up off the stool, a little frustrated. Yep, not quite the efficiency we saw last night. Some sloppy play. I've got one for you. Big 12 trying to go back to back to back national titles. When's the last time a conference did that? With three different teams? Uh, three teams from three teams from the same conference. It could be a repeat. Well, didn't it go Duke, Duke, Carolina? Yes, sir. You're right. 91, 92, 93. Just very, very good. Thank you. The color. Oh, look at that rebound. That's Wilson it. puts it in. That's a strong play. For a guy that scores a lot of points, he has a an, an incredible toughness and knows for the ball. Great offensive rebounder. Oh, yeah. The colors stick that one out. Intercepted the pass. Harris puts it in. Scoring. Let's go back and watch Jalen Wilson. This is toughness, folks. Okay? This is just pure toughness inside. Bodies around him. He's just going to finish at the rim. Play through contact. And then watch this. A steal by McCullough. And you mentioned that 6'6 wingspan from a guy that uh, Bill Self said earlier in the year is the most underrated player in college basketball. I mean, he looks like a kid at the mall that's that's working at uh, Annie Ann's. Yeah. This is the free throw, 11 point Kansas advantage. If you're just joining us, where you been? State getting past Baylor in our first quarter final. They await the winner of this one. Great effort from TJ Otzelberger's group. And our foul on Yesif, who is second. Well, we don't know the outcome of this game, but we know that there will be some of Hilton South tomorrow in here. Yeah, that's for sure. And of course, Kansas always brings this incredible crowd close by the state of Kansas. Sock gives off. Matthews got to do something here. Matthews spinning. Oh, and it falls. Emmett Matthews Jr. knocks it down. He's got four, and they needed that. The deficit is nine for West Virginia. Dick right in the noggin. I think Grady was thinking lob, and, and Dewan saw the opening earlier. A uh, good hustle by KJ Adams. And then Wilson trying to save it, stepped on the baseline when he jumped to contact the basketball. Keep Kimball right on top of that. So West Virginia basketball. Well, we mentioned KJ Adams a couple weeks ago. He a former lacrosse star in middle school. Second favorite sport gave it up in ninth grade picked it up as a senior and would you want to get in his way? No coming up the field with a stick and a hard ball Tucson picks up the dribble looking for some space loose ball. Yes, it hurt. Harris to Grady did catch and shoot that was long. Rebound. Guess who? Wilson. And it rolls in. He was the leading rebounder. 
and score in the league this year. He, he just has gotten better every year. Remember his freshman year, he missed his season as a redshirt with a leg injury. Yeah, an ankle injury. That one rattles off. Yesifu is there to snare it. Closing in on three minutes to go first half. Kansas leading by 11. Wilson. Man. That's well said. Yeah. Man. Got 10. Yeah, man, child, probably more like it. Tucson. Or beg your pardon, Kobe Johnson. Shot clock winding down. Matthews got it. Good shot. Tough shot. Some tough shots. Yes, he has. Jalen Wilson just is smiling right now. Like, man, I did my best. These guys have been around each other for four years. Although Emmett took a year off. Illegal. Yeah, they get the illegal screen. Time out of the court. 2-12 to go. And it's Kansas by 11. Over the last seven and a half minutes, Jalen Wilson heating up. Dewan Harris with seven points. I think Chris Patola hit it right on the head because in Kansas's 13 Big 12 wins this year, all five starters average double figures and you ready for this Wilson in those wins only averaged 15 points a game So I think he's exactly right and it's also a great formula for March Madness as well with this team All right, friends son. I learned well Left side jumper is good Joe Tucson the kid from the Bronx who transferred from Iowa and That is West Virginia's first three of the game after six misses Harris would like him to shoot it a little bit more when he's got an open look because he's got a pretty good shot. I'd say so, 40%. Had a first. And we get Ude for going over the back. Big minute and a half right now. If you're West Virginia, five would be a great number. Go in down five. You haven't played well offensively, not as well as last night. Stevenson hasn't gotten it going yet. Adrian Johnson handling here. West Virginia down eight. Matthews and Stevenson leading the way with six apiece for the Mountaineers. And Eric's got two fouls, which is why he's sitting. Tucson. Yeah, he's fouled. Uh, more college basketball here on uh, championship week pac 12 tourney presented by new york life ucla colorado is a quarterfinal as well oregon washington state by the way colorado is up one right now at the half and they just gave ucla a very tough game in boulder last week and i mentioned earlier john jalen clark who is a naismith defensive player of the year finalist the junior is out for the tournament and the rest of the season, unfortunately, with an Achilles injury. And Jalen is a terrific young player. So the UCLA Bruins, who we really like going into March, a little short-handed right now. That bird with Petey Johnson on him. Under a minute to go here in the first half. It's Kansas by six. Uday gives off Harris. And Harris, offensive rebound, and he puts it home off the glass. Nine for Dewan Harris. And Kansas, the lead is back to eight. Shot 
clock violation. And so Kansas will call timeout. And I'll have the last shot of the half. Break that he stays loose. He's dealing with back spasms. Didn't start. And Kansas will have the final shot of the first half unless they turn it over here. Pettiford loses the handle. Got to get something off. Now Johnson. And out of bounds. Sloppy to end the first half. Kansas will take a 31-23 lead to the break. So the one seed leading the eight seed at halftime, the winner. Come to this court. I thought she was going to say, Bob Huggins looked at me and said, happy birthday. <laughs> Jayhawks leading it by eight. Kansas on that 18-2 run over seven plus minutes. Mountaineers basketball. They got to get this guy involved, Stevenson. And now Mitchell, that'll work. Yep. Trey that, Mitchell with six. That does not hurt. I think Eric Stevenson, we saw him last night. He pretty much could get a shot when he wanted. He was very unselfish. I think that has to change in the second half. He needs to have one of those halves that he's had down the stretch of the season. McCuller with Stevenson on him. McCuller rolls off. And Tucson. The Iowa transfer with the rebound. Nice pass. Good look to Mitchell with Adams. And that one in and out. And Adams rebounds. Now Wilson. Oh, good, good defense right there, but not good enough. Brady came to the basket, puts it in with the left hand. Well, we've said this a thousand times. He's just not, he's, he's an athletic, tough, hard-nosed kid. Yeah, he's not just a shooter. Exactly right. He rebounds. And you mentioned athletic, he can jump. Harris pulls down the miss. And it's Kansas the other way, leading by eight. When DeWan Harris has the ball, John, it's like a security blanket. You know, you just feel comfortable with that. Because he's just such a smart player. Good book. Intercepted, Tucson. Find him. Stevenson. That one tipped out. Matthews got it to Tucson. And now Stevenson. Good hands. He wanted a foul, but you don't have to want Harris's. Adams to McCuller. Back to Adams. And he'll go to the line. Foul on Stevenson. That's his third. And you may not have five and double figures yet for Kansas, but that play right there, an indication of how unselfish this team is. Six points, and he's going to come and sit with three fouls as Seth Wilson is getting set to check in. Adams misses the free throw. Stevenson will sit. Wilson will come in. Well, Bob Huggins is the Hall of Fame coach, but with an eight-point deficit, I would not keep Eric Stevenson out long. I think you roll the dice with three fouls. It's not like he can foul out on the next one. Kick up ahead. Toussaint tried to spin it off the glass. Wilson up ahead off the window and in. That's where he's at his best. Although Harris is the point guard, he has license to play coast to coast. And you know how physical that kid is. You have to be physical offensively in this league. So they get the foul on the floor. On uh, Kansas, that'll be on Grady Dan. Watch this now. This is just typical of Kansas's break right here. And what I love about this, John, is Jalen Wilson is probably what I would call an average three-point shooter. But he's a great scorer because he knows how to get that body to the basket. Mitchell absorbing the contact gives off Matthews who puts it in. 
Mountaineers need a couple stops and a couple scores. They need to make this game uncomfortable for the Jayhawks. They haven't been able to do it yet. Out of bounds. And it'll be West Virginia basketball. And there's a good example of Wilson just trying to throw his body into the defense. But loses it. Adrian Johnson, Katie gives off here to Matthews and now Mitchell wide open. Barry's a three. There it is. Nice all of a sudden it's a five point game. Yeah, nice little play too. Harris finds Adams off the glass and good. And the foul. Watch the vision here. This is pick and roll. Savant stuff right here. Dewan Harris got his head up. It's going to be a high pick and roll. Watch how quickly Adams gets out of the screen. And he just waits for him to clear the switch because a guard goes on to Adams and he just puts it right on the money. Can't do it any better than that. AJ Adams. As big an improvement as any player has made the league this year. Mom brought him to campus, told Bill Self, I'm bringing you a great kid. The only thing is, you need to make him un. Yeah, I can't say the word. Right. But we know. And he's not there yet, at least so we're told. No, he's but still getting nuts. closer. <laughs> Mom was a heck of a player, too, at Texas AM. Color. Oh, the save taken away. Tucson puts it in. A little more energy now from the Mountaineers. Yeah, Kansas kind of stopped playing there. Tucson was seven. And the lead for the Jayhawks is six. Shot off the mark. McCullough rebounds the miss. Adams off the glass wouldn't fall. Mountaineers, Johnson. And he gets bumped. It's our under 16 timeout. Bob Huggins crew down by six. We'll talk about the Hall of Famer when we come back. ESPN 6. I practiced it several times, but it just froze. Congratulations, <laughs> Coach. No doubt. He is the active wins leader now with the retirement of Jim Beheim. One of the best to ever do it. And still the all-time free throw shooting leader at West Virginia. That guy that grew up in Morgantown is back coaching at his alma mater. Loose ball. And eventually still a scramble for it. What do we got? We go possession arrow, and it belongs to Kansas. A lot of activity right there. Not a lot of accomplished, but great hustle. Bob Huggins, one of the great coaches, one of the great personalities, too, and a guy who's always fun to talk to. Son of a great high school coach in Ohio. And uh, Bob, this is his 41st year, I believe, as a head coach. Let's see, what do we got underneath? And I think it's Mitchell for bumping Uday down low. Indeed it is. Keith Kimball on that call. Ernest did something interesting in the first half, John. He missed a shot, which was the first miss since December. Well, they went double foul yeah, on double that. Foul. So he had a, a foul on Uday and a foul on Mitchell. He's open. Brady Dick. Can't do that. One of the best shooters in the league. 
and he doesn't get a lot of those because of how he's defended. So that time a breakdown and a great execution, great screen. Uday able to get his hand on it, then tried to save it, couldn't do it. West Virginia ball. Jayhawks by nine. Grady Dick catch and shoot. Yeah, watch that screen by Uday. Uday, excuse me, right there. Great screen. Of course, he's a big dude, so that's easy. And Grady gets a great look. Kick out. And Wilson able to hit. They needed that. Seth Wilson with a three. That's what he does. Seth Wilson, sophomore from west part of Cleveland, Lorraine, Ohio. Offensive foul. Fans, a reminder, Big 12 now on ESPN Plus is a must-have for Big 12 fans. With baseball and softball seasons in full swing, there's more than 200 matchups available along with the early rounds of both conference tournaments, plus its own for over 600 live events and original content. If you're a Big 12 fan, you got to have it. Sign up at ESPNplus.com slash Big 12 now. John Shelby, Fran Priscilla, Chris Button here, quarterfinal number two. The winner will beat Iowa State, who got past Baylor. Still to come, TCU and K-State and Oklahoma State, Texas. I think we got to see Stevenson soon, John. I know it's only a six-point deficit. He's got three fouls. But that guy can score. Wilson inside and one. Jalen Wilson with two more. He's got 14. He understands better than anybody in this league that you just have to be physically strong on offense and match the defense in this league. And he goes right through the defender, Mitchell. The other thing he knows, John, is he's going to get to the foul line a lot yeah. because he's going to put the pressure on the defense. And when he's not making jump shots, he can still get 20. 78% from the line, 72 in his career. And he's got that strong lower half. They got a couple of guys. Adams and Wilson that are in that Quadzilla yeah. apartment with the every day seems to be leg day for those two. Well, and it's Kansas basketball too, because they're not gonna they're not gonna they're not gonna play soft on offense. There you go. He's Madsen back in with Brady Dick on him. Stevens just got it. Oh. You know what's coming. And I like it. Uh, got to give this team a chance now. He's only got, he's got to be smart, Stevens, and not pick up the floor. will try can hit Johnson up ahead Tucson puts it in great speed by Tucson four point game now and now Wilson going to work yeah, from the left side yeah, big range. shocker well, well, Stevenson turned to look at the screen, and once he looked to the screen, it was over because Jalen Wilson recognized, and he's down. We hope he's okay. The basketball, and especially if it's the player of the year in the league, he's going to blow by you. But a very good question you asked, John. Teach, people teach me stuff. I learn and apply. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So here we go. West Virginia basketball. They're down by six. Let's see if Stevenson can get going. Nice Ugh. pass. Look, Matthews. And so those two childhood buddies, Matthews with ten. And they team up for the deuce. Harris into the paint. Up and in. I like that because he went at Stevenson with the three fouls. He knew it. He knew Stevenson would not give resistance. 
Inside Johnson would fall. Yes, a foo. An air ball, and McCullough just got hammered in that low back area, and he's grimacing a bit. Here's that play out of the timeout. Watch this little spin, back cut. And Evan Matthews loses the defender. They switch. It's a bad switch on the weak side. Poor communication, and that allows Matthews to get to the basket. McCullough just got hit hard. He didn't start in this game because of back spasms, and like yeah. he may be hurting a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he's as athletic today. Yesifu eyeing up Adams. Instead, McCullough swings to Wilson. Shot clock under 10. Jalen Wilson will try a three. He's got 20. It is so difficult to guard because he can get you so many ways. And a foul to four. You know, when I say he's not a great shooter, the numbers speak for themselves, but... He scores in so many ways when you throw in one or two threes a game. That's how it all adds up. He's one of the more prolific players under Bill Self in his career. Ochai Abaji averaged almost 19 last year. Frank Mason averaged 21. Graham Devontae was terrific. Stevenson at the basket off the window. Terrific. He went off the wrong foot, which is difficult for a shot blocker, shot blocker to diagnose. Harris trying to turn the corner. Count the basket. Okonkor. Let's go back to Stevenson here. This is a good little piece of clever dribbling because when you shoot off the wrong foot, oftentimes the shot blocker can't time your release up because he's used to seeing it the other way 95% of the time. You know what that reminded me of as a kid growing up watching? You remember Bernard King? Oh, yeah. I feel like he used to do that all the time. Yep. Go off the wrong foot and take it to the basket. And now you perfect it, you work on it, you teach it. Yeah. Steve Nash, Jeff Hornacek, two guys that I remember really in their careers mastering that. Stevenson creates some space and gets it to go. I think Two more, he's got 13. I think you need this, John. I think if you're Bob Huggins right now, you throw caution to the wind and hope he can get you 25 and a half. Dick finds Adams and a throw down. Beautiful execution because they just play two-man basketball on one side of the floor with somebody in foul trouble. Back the other end, a conquer. Seven-point Kansas advantage. Nine minutes to go. Grady did. That's a three. Winner of this one will take on Iowa State in one of our semifinals here at the Big 12 Championship. Wilson. And Harris sends up with the rebound. Up ahead, Adams had it knocked away. And it's Kansas basketball. Mountaineers are scoring fairly well the last few minutes, but they're not getting any stops. And John, I don't even know. I guess in Wilson has 20. We can look at the monitor and you tell me. But he does. The, the flow of the offense right now, it doesn't need to go through him. Dick's getting going a little bit. KJ on the pick and rolls. Harris gets it to McCuller, and then that one knocked away, but it ends up with Wilson. Adams inside, and puts it in. KJ Adams with two more. He's got 11. One point a game last year, five minutes of play. That 
Here comes the home crowd, as it were. Wilson rebounds the miss. Jalen Wilson. Brady Neal. This place is ready to explode. West Virginia, the deficit and it does it. Harris takes it away. Up to Grady Dick. And the spin wouldn't go. Balanced scoring attack for Kansas. And K.J. Adams doing what K.J. Adams does. Hey, TCU, I think you flip a coin there. Incredible job Jerome Tang has done this year. Coach of the year in the league. John, they've got two guys that are considered All-American candidates in Noel and Johnson. Think about that. Amazing. Yep. They inherited two players when Jerome Tang took the job over in the spring. By the way, he interviewed right here in Kansas City with K-State during the Big 12 tournament. Stevenson with Adams popping out on Adams. Shot clock winding down. And the rebound falls into the hands of Grady Dick. Kevin McCullough. Oh, look at the lob. Adams throws it down. McCullough, I was starting to say, was slow getting up the court. Well, I, I mentioned vision a few times today with DeWan Harris. And it, it's just so hard to teach that. Kansas leading by 14. Johnson into the paint, left hand and one. This is amazing. Now, when Harris has the ball, he knows where Adams is. And look at that. Beautiful. It's like a quarterback in football. And KJ's laughing because he said, that's easy. I can anybody, anybody could do that. John Shami could do that. But it's funny, isn't it? Because they're the team you associate with the lob. I mean, for years, yes. when Bill Self would have bigger teams, they'd have the two post guys and they'd run just a high-low type lob out of the, the two post players. And, and a lot of it, most of it is set plays, but the lobs are demoralizing. That's the beauty of the lob, even in transition like that. They demoralize the defense. We're going to foul on K.J. Adams. His third for setting an illegal screen. By the way, Jalen Wilson with 20 points and 10 rebounds. His Big 12 leading 11th double-double of the year. Whole hum for the Big 12 player of the year. I think a lot like Ochai last year, he's been consistently the best player in the league from the start of the year. Stevenson being harassed. Mitchell moves it. Tucson. Out of bounds. Kansas basketball. 5.43 to go. You know, I know people have heard this story. I, I remember Jalen Wilson as a junior at Dengar High School visiting Kansas. It was an unofficial visit. And I don't think Kansas offered him right away. He signed with John Beeline at Michigan. And then John Beeline happened to take the uh, Cleveland Cavalier job. Are we doing this again? No. Well, that time it hits off the rim. Johnson. He lost the handle. Okonkwo has it. And a foul. And I think Johnson came down awkwardly. Take a look, John, as he finishes this drive. I think the I think he it, on the on the Euro step is when he heard it, but you know when Jalen Wilson did reopen his recruitment, he came down to North Carolina and Kansas, and he grew up a Kansas fan. He grew up a fan of the Morris twins, and uh, of course now the rest is history. It's kind of interesting. It's. A Kansas team that has a Texas flavor to it, right? With Wilson and McCullough and Adams and then 
as well. Zach Clements. Yep. And uh, uh, Zuby. Edge of four. Edge yeah. of four, yeah. I think what happened when the Big 12 merged with the Southwest Conference, it became a lethal, I say this in a positive way, a lethal recruiting area for Texas because, excuse me, for Kansas, because they could dip into the Fort Worth, Dallas area, Houston, and do some damage, and they certainly have. Remember Darrell Arthur? Sure. sure. Yeah. Wilson. A little strong with that jumper, Stevens. Stevenson up ahead. And Keaty nice. Johnson puts it in. Nice two on one. Keaty's limping. Timeout, Kansas. 5 0 1 to go. And the Jayhawks here. You can see a few other things happening. I'll say this. With all due respect to Texas and Oklahoma, football may change the, the, its imprint. Basketball will remain every bit as good. And of course, who knows what's going to happen in the coming weeks in terms of. Uh, Potential expansion, but you add Houston to this mix in the Cincinnati tradition. Yeah, and when Kansas goes to BYU right. on a big Monday, there will be 20,000 in the Marriott. Sure. You know that. By the way, there are a number of representatives from those four schools here at the Big 12 just checking things out. Oh, well, he can start a new streak because he went about 21 shots in a row without a miss before missing one tonight, so he's still up around 80%. I think he's going to be pretty good next year. 82% he shot from the floor into today. Well, we talked about KJ Adam. Watch this pick and roll, middle of the floor, no help. Just rolls down the lane. It's really easy when you have shooters in the corners because their men cannot leave unless you're going to give up a three to Grady Dick. So that alleyway is usually open down the lane. He's their conductor, the guy that directs traffic for him. Try and mix as many metaphors as possible. Well, the bad news for the Big 12 is that he's got two more years because he redshirted a year and he's got a COVID year back. So this is his fourth season, and he will be around for a while. He's like the ultimate college player because he's not going to go to the NBA yes. anytime soon. Brady Dick grabs it, goes baseline, puts it home. I like it. I like the mix tonight. We know he can shoot it, but he's really done some good stuff away from just the outside shooting. And yeah, this Kansas team has gotten that balance that you and Chris Patola talked about. John, there's no question that the numbers are striking. I'll give you one on the dead ball. I'll tell you now, in the in the five losses, Dewan Harris, McCullough, and Adams have averaged about 16 between them. Loose ball, and eventually Mitchell comes up with it. Dewan Harris averages a little over two points a game in the five losses. Mitchell and Harris able to grab the rebound here from the Jayhawks the other way up by 11. McCullough. I love that. As soon as Harris got the ball, he looked up the court to McCullough and said, Keep going. I got you. And there was nobody around McCullough. Juan Harris. With eight assists to just two turnovers, he's played about 35 minutes in this one. Kansas leading it by 14. ESPN's exclusive presence Sunday coming your way this Sunday. And this league uh, close to three in a row as Texas Tech in 2019 lost in overtime to Tony Bennett's Virginia Cavaliers. I think there's, I, I thought a couple weeks, I think there's four teams that can get to a Final Four, maybe five out of the eight that'll go. Certainly Kansas, Baylor, K-State, still think TCU has that potential. And certainly Texas, who is one of four teams, John, in the Ken Palm 
efficiency numbers that are in the top 20 in offense and defense. Rodney Terry's Texas Longhorns. Norm Roberts at the helm today. Bill Self not feeling well, but in good condition. Gonna feel a little better in about two and a half minutes if they can hold on to this lead. Just get out of get out of his way right here. Wilson yep. and so, spins it. Oh, beautiful. 22. Coaching's not that complicated. It's not the Exodus and the O's, it's the Jimmys and the Joes and the Jalen's. Some Nick end of the game. And finds a cutting to some for two. Dewan Harris has helped lead this Kansas team here today. 13 points, 8 assists, just 2 turnovers. And also 5 steals to go along with it. Brady Dick to the basket, left hand, and one! How about our player of the game? And it's brought to you by Phillips 66, Big 12 player of the year and our player of the game Jalen Wilson 22 points 10 rebounds 11 double double of the year and our player of the game brought to you by Phillips 66 and it came on a day but they still got that balance we talked about and of course McCullough a little slow to hit that three but four and double figures for this team that's a foul Brady Dick Barreled over and a Joe Toussaint. 125 to go and Kansas by 14. You know, I, I remember talking to Coach Self early in the year, and he said, Grady Dick is not strong yet, but he is not soft. Yeah. There's a difference. And when you look at a guy, there's a lot of NBA scouts here at 19 years old and doing what he can do as far as shooting the ball. But he's 23 or 4, 24, John. He's going to be 30 pounds heavier. Feed down low. Yes, a move miss. And you're going to count the basket. Basket interference right now. Projection that Brady Dick going anywhere from 11 or 12 in the draft. So we'll see if he comes out. Yeah, I think the likelihood is he is coming out. I think everybody knows it. And... Uh, He's got a bright future because he can do more than shoot the ball, obviously. And he's 6'8. Yeah. I had an NBA scout text me today. He used the term Glenn Rice. Remember Glenn Rice? Oh, yeah. And the guy that texted me is not a bottom level scout. He happens to be somebody that you would know immediately. So that's a pretty good compliment. Was it Glenn Rice? It wasn't Glenn himself. And it wasn't Bill Freeman either. <laughs> But it was somebody that is a high-level NBA executive. Let's just say that. Kansas putting this one away. Brady Dick. That's Glenn Rice. The punctuation mark. He's got 18 in Kansas. We'll move on and take on Iowa State in the semifinals. Still to come, Texas and Oklahoma State and TCU and K-State. Partisan crowd here at T-Mobile Center. A little less than an hour away, the fans coming from Lawrence to check out this matchup. And it goes the way of the one seed. Jalen Wilson with 22 and 11 in Kansas.